Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So, update just dropped, and here we are at El Zion Otherlands. So this is the first area of course, and the enemies will be the same as the El Zion Airport. So that's the main thing you need to know for now. Um, same idea as usual. Um, there are a couple of different locations. And in this case, um, same type of treasure map setup. So um, two in the first section, one in the second, and three in the third for a total of six treasure chests. Most of these enemies, being that they're search bits, are weak to wind and pierce. So you can see I have a team of three piercing attacks, as well as Mario 5 star. And again, there are uh, sets of 5 uh, mobs per area for a total of 15. There are also shinies that you should be looking for. Um, same standard um, drop rate, 1% per um, encounter. So just like most other lands levels, this is level 70. Uh, nothing to sneeze at and I'll tell you um, later on in this video why. But make sure you um, conserve your MP and HP. So make full use of Valor Chance, uh, rotating to the back, uh, so on and so forth. You also have food as well, so um, recommend using it uh, between the first and second boss battles or after the horror. Anyways, we're at area 2, so you can see the um, machinery guy, whatever his name is called. He is weak to blunt, same weaknesses again as El Zion, either uh, you know, Industrial Ruins or so on and so forth. So that's why you do have to pack a team with, I recommend, two uh, blunt uh, characters. So in this case, I am carrying Lokido and Serene in the back. Serene has the additional benefit of having both piercing and blunt type attacks, so very very useful for this particular area. Again, you can see with, um, I only have the original Suzette, but if you had um, AS Suzette or any other combination like that, the enemies melt uh, pretty easily. And in the case of my particular team, if you have a party of just search bits, you can clear one group with just uh, aiming Flood, which is Leclerc's medium attack, as well as um, Retro's Gift, which is Seti's medium AoE. So two medium AoEs um, that will affect their weaknesses should wipe them all out. Again, here you can see I'm just uh, managing my MP pool and just rotating uh, back and forth to make the most of regeneration as well as uh, debuffing the enemy. That particular enemy here does do criticals relatively rarely, but in a previous run of this, I actually got critical and died uh, with one character. So be very aware that they can critic you. Agaterum, I guess? Yeah, those are really tough. I'm not sure if you had any experience with that in um, Industrial Ruins Very Hard, but I was uh, painfully reminded of that today. So again, rotate, rotating Lokido to the front to um, debuff the character's power. Very, very useful. Just rotating again uh, to manage some MP. I know this particular type of uh, grinding is a little bit boring in that sense, but especially when you go to the lar longer um, other lands sections, you will have to rotate in and out. Okay, again, one round of two medium AoEs takes them down. So let's take down the first boss. So another strong search bit. And this is actually my second attempt of defeating it. The first time, um, it landed a bunch of critical hits on Suzette, wiping her out. Now I was still able to defeat the search bit because I have enough characters that um, the enemy is weak towards. However, I want to show you a little more optimal strategy. Now the problem with this particular optimal strategy is you can um, build your AF bar very quickly with your piercing um, characters. 
The problem is after you burn the AF bar on the enemy, you will be vulnerable to running into uh, the dreaded shiny right after you do the boss attack. So keep that in mind. My first time around, I actually did try to end the battle without using an AF, and I only survived the battle with two characters. So um, again, if you let the enemies live too long, at least for this particular first boss, as well as the second boss in this area, you will get wiped out. The other thing you've noticed is that boss does target uh, either uh, Lance enemies or our characters, or bow type uh, characters. So um, they will focus a series of attacks on it. And again, if you're unlucky with RNG or um, criticals, you will die, which is what happened to my Suzette. So we do have a full AF bar. I rotated everyone out as usual and back in to boost as much as I can. I am using, in this case, Invigorating Flog instead of using her Ground Razor. Remember that that is a blunt type attack and Earth is no good against this enemy. Um, same with Blunt, they are resistant to both. So um, make sure you are using all piercing um, or wind type attacks. And you can see, um, using the right attack strategy, easy peasy, dealt over 2 million damage, and we're done. So one half of this area is done. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in part two.